Welcome back to Genesis Video Tutorials. In this video, we would talk about the auto email program. The auto email application is an automated mailing program that shoots mails with the information regarding the transaction details to target recipients without any manual intervention. It acts as a notifying agent for the target recipient. An example would add more clarity into the matter. Let us assume that a purchase order has been raised before a supplier. Now after the authorization of the purchase order in the software, the auto email application would send a mail to the recipient. In this case, the recipient would be the supplier to whom the purchase order has been raised. This entire process would be automated with no manual intervention. The auto email application would be available in the head office only. Now auto emails can be either occurrence type or recurrence type. In the example that I put forward, a mail was shoot from the software as soon as a purchase order has been raised. Here the mail is dependent upon the occurrence of a transaction in the software. Occurrence mails are mails that are shoot in response to any event that is generated due to any transaction in the software. When a purchase order is created in a software, an event is generated in response to this event. The SMTP mailer, which is also known as the auto email application, shoots an email to the target recipient. Whereas there is another type of mail which is called recurrence mail. They are mails that are shoot after every fixed interval. They are configured through an interface in the auto email or SMTP mailer application and can be shoot multiple times either daily or weekly or monthly. For example, daily sales reports are mailed to the managers every day at a scheduled time. Let's say an organization has 10 different postos all around the country. Every day, a report containing the post sale data of all the post stores are mailed to the management at 11 pm in the night after the closure of the post stores. The daily sale report mail has been scheduled to fire at daily basis at 11 pm. I'll show you how to set up the auto email program. The first step would be to configure the mail server. Click on the SMTP mailer icon in the desktop to run the auto email application. You can see there are three tabs, Summary, Recurrence Jobs and Occurrence Jobs. In the Summary tab, there are four segments, each having individual function. From the SMTP Server Information section, the mail server is configured. The Connected to Database section shows to which database the mail application is connected. The Service Information section shows the folders where the report files, the attachments and the logs are kept and the service information shows which of the reports are in active state. I would show you the configuration of mail server. Click on the edit settings option from the SMTP server information section. The server settings window is opened. You can see there is the mail server. Here you have to type the mail server address, give the port name, insert your username and password and this is the email ID from which the mails will be sent. Give a valid email address for each of the things. Specify appropriate timeout and the retry count. Once the information is inserted, click on the save button to save the mail server. Your mail server is successfully configured. Now I will show you how to set up a recurrence mail. Click on the recurrence jobs. Here you can see the existing recurrence mail jobs. Sale tree report, pending purchase order status, and VMI report job. Click on add job to create a new recurrence mail job. On clicking the add job, the add job recurrence window opens up. Here you have to select from the predefined job types. For example, we are going to create debit outstanding SL as our new recurrence report job. Click on the debit outstanding SL from the LOV and Type an appropriate mail job name. You may insert some description about the report, but it's not mandatory. In order to make the report job active or inactive, you can do it from the checkbox. Now you have to set up the recurrence schedule. Click on this icon and the recurrence schedule window opens up. Select appropriate schedule type, select recurring. Now you can select from daily, weekly or monthly. 
I am doing this for daily time. You can set up daily frequency. It can occur once in a day or it can occur once in every hour and minute. I am doing this for once in a day. The time is set. And click on the OK button. The recurrent schedule is set. Now you can see there is another tab called Mail tab. Click on the Mail tab. As I said before, the mails will be sent from the From Mail ID. You can see in the right hand side that the list of variables available. In the To field, double click on customer email id this will pick up the email id defined in the customer master come to subject type subject you can also add the report date variable by double clicking it come to the body this is the mail body section where you have to write the mail body. For example, I am doing it and double click on customer name variable. This will pick up the customer name. Click on the save button to save the mail job. Your recurrence mail job has been successfully set up. You can click on the start service button to activate the mails. On clicking the start service button, the mails will be activated and the shooting of mail will happen on the scheduled time. You can see that on clicking the start service button, the mail window is minimized. You can double click from the tray and open the mail. Now you can see the next execution time for the mail is displayed here. In order to stop the mail service, you have to click on the stop service button. You can see that the mail service has been stopped. Now I would show you the mail jobs for occurrence mails. Unlike the recurrence mails where you can create mail jobs from the interface, the mail jobs for occurrence mails are metadatas and are predefined. They cannot be created from the interface, but they can be edited. Click on the edit button. The edit occurrence job window opens up. You can see there are three tabs, the job detail tab, the mail tab and the mail modification tab. The job detail tab is the tab where job type name, job name and descriptions are available. You can also make a mail job active or inactive from this tab. The second tab is the mail tab where the mail recipients, mail body and subject are defined. In the right hand side you can see the list of variables. In the right hand side you can see the list of variables for to, cc, bcc, subject and mail body respectively. Each field has its own set of variables. Double click on any variable to insert them into the respective fields. The variables capture data from the database and print it in the mail body when the mail is sent. Earlier I said mails are sent when a transaction is created or modified. The auto email application sends mail from the mail tab with all the mail details when a transaction is created for the first time. The third tab is the modification mail tab. The interface is exactly the same as the mail tab, but there is one functional difference. Unlike the mail tab, the auto email application send mail from the modification mail tab only when a transaction is edited. That's all with the auto email training video. I hope this video would be helpful while implementing auto email. Thank you.